Hi everyone, in this tutorial we'll start working on the obstacle scene. This is gonna be a short one, we're only gonna create the pipe scene. And in the next one, we'll start working on the pipe spawner scene. Our game is starting to look like an actual game. I'm very excited and let's get started. Let's go ahead and start by creating a new scene. This one's gonna be an area 2D. And the reason we use an area 2D instead of like a rigid body or like a kinematic body is we only want to detect when the player touches a pipe, but we don't necessarily want to calculate any collisions between those objects. Because in the original game, once you touch a pipe, the player just fa falls down fall straight down and there's no collisions, you just fall straight through the pipe. And that's why we're using an area 2D. I'm gonna call this pipe. I originally called this pipe, but if you're planning to make changes to the game, and by changes I'm talking about maybe using different textures and maybe adding other stuff and making it different from the original game, you might want to call this something else because if, for example, you change the pipe texture to a tower, for example, I don't know, it's not going to look good if it, it says pipe in the class. And that's why I decided to go with a more generic name and I'm going to call it wall. You can call it whatever you want as long as it describes what, what it does and it's basically a wall. It's a moving wall, but I'm just going to call it wall. This is going to have a sprite and a collision shape. For the sprite, let's use our pipe texture. And I'm, I'm going to move it down just a little bit. And this is going to make it easier later on when we're doing some calculations to randomly generate these. It's, I guess it's gonna make it easier. I just I just feel like it makes it easier for me. So yeah, and I'm gonna add a rectangle shape that covers about this much. It's not gonna be perfect and we're not trying to be perfect and like include this one pixel section as well. You could by using a polygon instead of a collision shape 2D and you could use a, I think it's called a collision polygon 2D, yeah. Or you could use two collision shapes, but it's not that important. It's not really gonna make a difference. Okay, that looks fine. Let's save this under environment. And everything is looking good. Okay, I told you that this was gonna be a short one. In the next one, we'll start using this scene and generating some obstacles for our player to flap through, I guess. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.